In this video, we will cover differentiating between annotation and model families and controlling labels in tag families. In this project, several tags have been added. When adding tags, it's important to keep a few things in mind. First, tags are view-specific elements, so they will only appear in the view in which they are placed. Additionally, tag families are made up of labels, and the labels control which parameters the tags report. So you need to know which parameters are being reported in the tag. For this example, I'll select a lighting fixture tag, and then on the contextual ribbon, click Edit Family. When the tag opens in the Family Editor, you can see that on the Create ribbon, there are tools to add lines, symbols, filled regions, labels, text, and several other options. This is completely different than the tools that are available when you create model families. Once again, tags are view-specific elements and they do not contain model geometry. The main thing you need to pay attention to in tag families are the labels. For this example, there's just one label. Before we take a look at that, I'm going to select the lines and delete them. And then select the label and click Edit Label in the contextual ribbon. In the Edit Label dialog, you can see the parameters that are added to the label. In this case, we have the circuit number. If you want to add additional parameters, you can select them in the list of category parameters. If the parameter you want to use is not available, you can click Add Parameter, and then select the shared parameter to add. Be aware that only shared parameters can be added to tag labels. I'll click Cancel, and then I'll select the Type Mark and add it to the label. When you have multiple parameters, you can control the order in the list. So I'll add the type mark and then the circuit number in the second spot. For each parameter, you can add a prefix or a suffix, and you can also control the sample value. For sake of example, I'm going to enter in a sample value and we'll call it LP. 10, and I'm going to leave a space there uh, just for sake of example of showing how some of these options work. You can also add a break line in between the parameters, and if you do that, then regardless of the size of the label box, there will be a break between the parameters. You can also choose to wrap between parameters only, and when this option is selected, each parameter will have an individual line. So in other words, the size of the text box will not affect the wrapping. It will only wrap between parameters. So I'll click OK and we can see how this works. So you can see here that with wrap between parameters only deselected, if the label box is smaller than the length of the value, then it will wrap. And notice that there's not a dash. If it was all a single value, then it wouldn't wrap. When I choose to wrap between parameters only, which I can do so in the Properties palette, then it will no longer wrap because it's only going to wrap between the parameters. Also, in the Properties palette, you can control the horizontal and the vertical alignment, and then you can choose whether or not to keep the tag readable. If Keep Readable is selected, then if the tag rotates beyond 45 degrees, it will flip. There's also a visible parameter, and this is handy if you have multiple labels. You can then create family parameters and create types and have different labels visible for different types. When you click Edit Type, you can then adjust the graphics and text parameters in the Type Properties dialog. For the graphics, you can control the color and the line weight, and then you can control the background. And so when this is set to opaque, then it will cover any of the components that uh, it's on top of. 
In this case, it's set to transparent, and so you'll be able to see those components behind the tag. I'm going to select Show Border for this example, and then you can also control the leader and border offset. And then under text, you can control the text style that is used so that your tags can meet your graphic standards. I'll click OK and then deselect the tag and you can now see the border that appears around it and if you want it to be a little bit closer you can adjust the leader border offset so that the border is a little bit closer to the text. The last parameter here that we'll touch on is rotate with component and that is a parameter for the overall tag and when this is selected then the tag would rotate along with the component. And so this is particularly uh, useful when you're working with conduit and cable trays. And if you want the tag to be on top of the, the conduit or cable tray, you could select it to rotate and then it would rotate along with it. If not, then you can choose for it to be vertical or horizontal in the project. I'm going to click load into project and then overwrite the existing version. And now we can see our updated tag and we obviously need to make some adjustments here as it's appearing over the light fixtures. But as you can see, we can use those options to customize our tags and control which parameters are being reported and then also control how they appear.